middle-aged man here again. I just thought I'd give you my opinion on Samuel Gowith's Black Cherry. Mm, bad tobacco. Mm. I've been smoking it in a few pipes, but today I'm smoking it in my Dr. Boston, which is basically a Butch Chill Queen. Most of them have export to Germany, so God knows they ended up in Belgium. But anyway, the thing is, a couple of months ago, I was uh, one, of me, one of me usual tobacconists, and uh, I've been going there buying tobacco, and looking across at the back, I've been seeing Samuel Goethe's Black Cherry. Now, like a lot of aromatic smokers, Tried a few cherry tobaccos in my time, and they've always been bloody awful. You know, they're, they're sort of you're on the packet, it smells like cherry, then you fire it up, and it just, you know, it's something like baby sick or something. Is, I've never had a nice cherry tobacco. But then I've tried a few Samuel Gowiths, and I've liked some better than others, but I've never had one I've really disliked, you know. So it was Samuel Gowiths Black Cherry. So I thought, one way or another, this is going to be a new experience. It's either going to be a Samuel Gwith that I don't like, or a, black, or a cherry tobacco that I do like. And luckily it turns out it's a cherry tobacco I do like. I need to be relighting. You know, it actually tastes like black cherry. It's a very dark Cavendish but Oops, he said, nearly spilling it everywhere. It's a very dark brand. It's uh, nearly all crammed in, shall we? Look at it here. There. And uh, it smokes quite smoothly. Unusual Samuel with hardly any tongue bite at all. And it really does have a very nice but very intense cherry flavour. Then was uh, I can't really do more than one ball of this in a day. One ball's enough. And I can taste it in my spit now. And about two hours after I put this down, I'll still be tasting it in my mouth. And it's brilliant. <laughs> oh. Cherry tobacco I actually like. Oh, I love cherries, I love cherry jam. Oh, Black Forest Gatos with the layer of cherries in it. And this tastes like really strong potted preserved black cherries. Very sweet as well, which suits my taste. I'm a real sucker for sweet aromatics. So it costs a little bit more than my normal tobacco bit. Three and a half euros more for uh, the 50 grams than I normal pay for my standard tobaccos. But as I only smoke one bottle, because I only really smoke one bottle of it a day, it lasts quite a while. Uh, and Any aromatic smoker who likes cherries and has always dreamed of finding an actual cherry tobacco that tastes like what it says on the tin. Mm. Obviously, English smokers now aren't going to uh, like it much. People who don't like very, very sweet aromatics aren't going to like it either. But I think a lot of people who've been disappointed by other cherry tobaccos are going to like this one. It's really good. And it comes down to the acid test like, would I buy it again? And uh, you might notice there's a lot of tobacco in that last tin because uh, there's the first tin I bought. Absolutely empty. And as soon as that was empty, I thought well, I'll have to get some more of that, so I got some more. But it lasts a good while. One ball a day is more than enough for that.
So to sum up, tiny little bit pricey but not too much. Even uh, in somebody's type this is me, it's not that much over my normal budget. Uh, very nice, very strong, very sweet aromatic. For cherry lovers. <laughs> not for English lovers, not for people who like more mellow taste. Uh, if you've ever been disappointed by cherry tobaccos before, try this one, I think you'll like it. I'll put a couple of photos of the tobacco on the tin at the end of the clip. Okay, I hope people found that informative. I hope people found that informative. Middle-aged monarch signing out. Everybody enjoy yourselves.